Hey everybody, Jeff here from Gojo Media. Welcome to my computer screen, where today I want to take you through the process of an online build-your-own burger, create-your-own-taste. The new option is that there are grilled chicken breast fillets available, and you can also build your own burger online now. So rather than going into store and feeling all stressed out because of all that interaction that's going on, you can now, in your own time, make your own burger on your computer and then at the end of the process you are given a code which you take in store and at your own leisure you make your order. Today I want to take you through that process and show you how it's done. So you'll see straight away that up the top here there are several options uh, which give you an outline of the whole procedure where it started this is the home page Build Your Burger is where we're going to come back to. There's burger inspirations of what other people have done. A touch screen guide which takes you through the process of what you would do in store. The ingredients. We will go there because this is the 39 gourmet ingredients that are available. And uh, immediately you'll see that it's not only buns that you can use, but you can also make a lettuce wrap. Okay, now the beef or chicken, so the new addition is the grilled chicken breast fillet. Been able to do the Angus beef for quite a while. Then make it cheesy with six different options of cheese. You can turn up the taste with bacon, egg, guacamole, tortilla, grilled mushroom and pineapple. Freshen it up with lots of salad type ingredients many sources to add at the end. Now this page is not interactive so if we want to actually do this process we come back up the top of the page to the build your own burger. You can also enter a competition at the moment I don't know how long that will be available for but at the moment we want to do the build a burger. Okay we've got seven steps that we will go through so first off we choose the bun so we have a baker's bun the brioche style bun kielbasa and that lettuce wrap now for a bit of a change i'm actually going to go for the lettuce wrap you can see that there is only one choice on this page as soon as you click the next item the previous one deletes Chicken or beef, the choice is yours. However, only chicken burgers can enter the current competition. Now, if you choose chicken, you can, you can do it twice. You can have two fillets. If you then choose an Angus beef patty, there is no option. We only can choose one or the other. And the other thing is that you can't mix them. It's either two beef or two chicken patties. I am going to choose one grilled chicken breast fillet go to next. Now here's all the cheese options. Start with cheddar cheese, the McDonald's classic cheese, Colby Jack, shaved parmesan, Swiss, mozzarella, cheddar. I'm going to use the uh, Colby Jack. Now you'll see here that we can use up to three uh, cheeses. So you can either do three of your option or you can do one, two, three separate options. I'm actually going to go with just the Colby Jack and a bit of shaved parmesan as well. Next we will have choices up to 10 taste test teasers. Crispy bacon, a rasher of bacon, egg, grilled mushrooms, grilled pineapple, tortilla chips, guacamole, back to the bacon. I would like to have a bit a rasher of bacon. You can do up to three of any item. I'm just going to stick with the one. And but you can choose, you can go around, keep going, and choose up to the ten. So now I think there's only actually seven options here. So that means if you chose them all, and the thing's starting to look like a huge kind of burger come wrap thing so I don't want the two types of bacon I'll just have the rasher I'm obviously not going to have any egg so you've got to go to the, you go up to the three and then it deletes no grilled mushrooms no pineapple no tortilla chips I do want the guacamole I'll leave that so I've got the crispy uh, no I've got the guacamole and the rasher of bacon and that's it 
So I'll go to the next. Now here, your options are sliced beetroot in the you get crispy and crunchy with up to 10 ingredients. So you can do the same process. We've got beetroot, which I don't want. Cancel that. Uh, you can do lettuce again, which I don't want to do, obviously. Jalapenos, red onion. Yes, I will do red onion. Uh, caramelized grilled onion. No, I don't want to mix up my onions. No, I don't want to do long sliced pickles. I do want to have tomatoes. No spinach. If I didn't do the lettuce wrap, I would have had spinach, but that's just a bit too much green for me. Some coleslaw. No, thank you. Gone for the red onion and the tomato. And now we can do the sauces with three options here. Uh, the total options that you can choose from are the pesto mayo, pesto red capsicum, aioli, barbecue, Big Mac special sauce, chipotle mayo, dijonese, herb aioli, ketchup, tomato chili jam, Thai style mayo, pesto mayo, back to the beginning. I want to choose the aioli. I've got three choices here, remember? And also, no, not the Big Mac special. I want to go the Chipotle Mayo. So I'm choosing two, and then we go finish. And we're going to take a look at what I have made. There it is. Wow, what a sensational looking burger come a wrap that we have here. We've got the lettuce, rasher of bacon grilled chicken, parmesan cheese, colby cheese, guacamole, tomato, red onions, the two sauces, the aioli and chipotle mayo, and that top layer of the lettuce wrap. So it's, there we are, we can go back and edit. That's what I could do. So you can go right back through and do that whole process again, which I'm not going to change. I'm very happy with what I've got. Let's give a name to this creation. I'm going to call it the Serious Summer Wrap. Now, if I was logged into Maccas, I could enter that into their current competition. I'm not logged in, so here I can share it either to Facebook or Twitter, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to not build another burger. I'm going to order. There's my code. And how to order is step one, press that print button, scan that code that I printed off at any McDonald's, uh, create your taste kiosk, and step three, complete and pay for your order at the kiosk. So we press the print button, this page comes up, which I then print and take along to the store. Okay, let's go to a store and order this fella and see what it actually ends up looking like. Hey, well, there you go. I've been to three stores, and at the third store, they knew what I was talking about. So it's still a very new concept uh, for McDonald's to be carrying out. So I found out that using the printed sheet didn't actually work, and in the end, I had to do the whole process again on my iPhone, and came up at the end of that process with this particular picture that I needed to scan and working my way through the had to go back to the panel in store and that was the bit that got the whole thing working but it was only at the third store that they understood that that was the whole process I'm sure it will become clearer as time goes on and there'll be no problems like I've had this morning but anyway this is what I've ended up with how did they wrap up that lettuce interesting there you go, it's $11.55 for this particular creation. And there it is, look at that, check that out. Lettuce, lettuce wrap and all my sauces and red onions and all of it's in there. I don't need to pull it apart so much because it's pretty clear by now what I'm getting. And I'm excited about this, no bun. This is about as healthy as you're going to get from Macca's and it's looking pretty good wow
pretty sensational really I'm really liking the chicken and bacon that rasher of bacon and the sauces the salads did you ever believe you would get anything like this at a McDonald's store this is quite sensational I believe I have to wait about 10 minutes for it but it's well worth the wait without a bun to hold it together it is tending to fall apart a bit but that's to be expected with a lettuce wrap There's just lots of goodness in that. I'm really pleased and I'm really impressed. Wow. This is fantastic. Totally different sort of a concept. So it might be worth your while using your computer to get a, a handle on what you've got to do. But in the end, I would suggest that you've got to use your iPhone and using the code that they supply to make the machine work. I doubt that you'll, the printed copy will work at the moment. Nobody seemed to know anything about what I was talking about with that printed copy. So there you go. Now to create your taste is including the grilled chicken. And this creation that I've made anyway, I reckon is totally yummy. And it's well worth a try to go through the process and give it a go because you end up with something way more healthy than the regular menu items. Well worth a try, guys. Give it a go, see how you go, tell me what happens. I'll see you next time around. Bye. Now I'm angry. Wow. That sauce is fiery. First up in this taste test, I can tell you that...